Hello everyone, how's it going? So today I'm going to talk to you all about my new hunting rifle. Um, my budget hunting rifle pretty much. Uh, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money. And I'm going to show you all what I decided to go with and talk about it. Why I picked it and all that. So here in front of you, you have the Ruger American and 6.5 Creedmoor. This is the, um, the one that accepts AI style magazines. That's why I have that 10 round mag. I'm going to zoom in on it so you can see it. I have that 10 round metal mag. It only ships with a four round magazine. It's a pretty good magazine, it, it's quality made. I'll show it to you real quick. So this is the mag that the rifle ships with. Nothing wrong with it, I just prefer the 10 round. When I'm hunting, I'm actually gonna have this one. So yeah, if you buy this, uh, you're on a budget. You don't really need to buy the extra mag, I just chose to buy it. So as far as optics goes, I decided to go with the loophole optic. And um, I got this optic on sale. It's the uh, Lupo VX 3i, 3.5 to 10 by 40 CDSDL. So this thing pretty much, you can get a custom dial made for your rifle by Lupo. You just send in the information. I think you need the muzzle velocity of your firearm and a um, the height over bore. But then after that, all you have to do is set your turret to de the desired number of yards you want to shoot, and you'll be able to hit for the most part. In the environment you're going to shoot it. I'm going to give you a closer look of how that turret works real quick. I'm going to show you real quick how this turret cap works. Get it to focus real quick. So after doing a ton of research I decided that the Ruger was the one that best suited me. It had all the features that I wanted for an affordable price. This one was about $450 and it had a threaded barrel already, medium weight barrel so it's not like a super thin profile. It's actually pretty thick. It holds um, AI style mags like I mentioned before. And it came with um, nice sling swivel studs on it. They're not molded plastic. They're actually like screwed in to the stock. And um, I like the bronze Cerakote as well. It's pretty nice. It actually comes with a um, muzzle brake. And I'll show that to you all right now. So this is the muzzle brake that comes with it. It's nice. I mean, it has um, all the ports. And that's, that's actually... Uh, this will fit a 30 cal rifle as well, even though mine's a 6.5. I measured it, and I think they just go with the universal um, 30 cal muzzle brake, so it fits all the rifles in their lineup. But I went with a specific uh, muzzle brake. I went with the VG6 Precision uh, Model 65 Gamma, and it's for a 6.5 Creedmoor or a Grendel. I love this brake, and um, I've used them on a couple of my ARs and other rifles as well. So that's why I just changed it out, but you don't really need to change it. The stock is also a nice color. Pretty happy with that um, Go Wild Camel that Ruger put out on these rifles. And it came with the Picatinny rail already for the scope. I went with some budget um, Monstrum tactical rings for it. And they're one inch, because I put a one inch scope on it. The bipod was also $30 on Amazon. It was a cheap um, bipod. I can put a link to that. And then I bought a Ruger sling for it as well. Just a cheap little $20 Ruger sling. So when I'm hunting with it, bolts pretty smooth. Check it's clear. And then you can see the trigger real quick. One more time. Very smooth, very easy to pull. I like the safety, I'm a lefty. I didn't buy a left-handed um, bolt action gun, but because the safety is right here, it's very easy to activate, even though I'm left-handed. Overall, this rifle was about 450 bucks, and this scope was another 400. $20 rings, $30 bipod, so for me, it was a pretty budget build, but there's other places you can save money if you just bought the rifle. You don't have to buy a loophole scope. You can buy like a cheaper Vortex or something, or really any scope that'll get you through to your hunt depending on where you want to hunt. Now I'm going to show you all the muzzle brake real quick. Just a closer look. Has the three ports on each side. Has the ports up top as well. It was pretty easy to install. It comes with the crush washer. I do recommend having someone to help hold the rifle while you do this. I don't have a vise and it wasn't necessary to install it but some of y'all might find that it's easier to install with the vise. This is my little um, cheek pad I bought for it. 
Again, something I bought on Amazon. I'll show you a better look at that real quick. Just, um, it's just a cheek riser that you strap on your rifle. And it holds a couple shells as well. A couple of your rifle rounds. But yeah, I'm looking forward to zeroing this at the range. I haven't been able to go to the range because of COVID. They closed it. But I can't wait to give you all guys a range report and let you know how accurate it is. And then hopefully I have a successful hunt. But if you're looking for a rifle that won't break the bank, you can find these for anywhere from $350 to $450, depending on the model. I highly recommend the AI one. It holds these mags. You can buy Ruger mags, Magpul mags, original AICS mags, all kinds. This is a MDT mag. And it has a nice little bottom metal down here. Snaps right in. Very secure. So some people were complaining that the Ruger American Predator didn't have a, a straight Picatinny rail. I didn't have any issues mounting this. They say that it's like a Weaver slash Picatinny rail. But my scope ring's mounted right on. Here's a quick look at those Monstrum Tactical Rings. They're very nice rings for the money. Less than $20 for the pair. They're holding this thing on here pretty secure. Had no issues leveling and tightening down the scope. It is mounted a little bit high, but that's mainly because of this rail. I could get lower rings, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. I just bought the cheek riser. And I should be fine. I'm also looking forward to testing the scope out. It has a zero lock and I might have Leupold make me a turret, a custom turret, but at the moment this is how it works. It's in MOA adjustments, so I'm just gonna use a ballistic calculator on my phone to tell me what my drop is in MOA and then all I have to do is dial it on here and then return to zero. It's nice positive clicks and zero lock as well. I just really wanted to show you what I chose as my budget rifle for hunting this year and this is what I went with. I hope you all like it and also if you find yourself looking for a rifle, your next rifle, you consider the Ruger American Predator. These things are pretty nice. They make them in different colors as well if you don't like the camo. But the bolts come nice and slick. Very easy to actuate. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.